Well, this is the final weekend to catch the national tour of Come From Away at the Overture Center. Come From Away is a Broadway musical detailing the true story of a small town in Newfoundland that took in 7,000 stranded passengers in the aftermath of September 11th. The ensemble cast is made up of just a dozen people. We spoke with one of the actors, James Earl Jones II. <laughs> It is a very unique show. What kind of reaction do you get when you tell people you're in a show about 9-11, the musical? Uh, you can see the question mark on their faces, right? It's like, I'm doing a musical about 9-11, and they go, mm, 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 mm. It actually isn't a musical about 9-11. It's a musical about 9-12 and the subsequent days after. On 9-11, the FAA grounded all planes um, coming in or out of North America, and um, they actually sent 38 planes with approximately 7,000 passengers to a tiny town on the most northern east tip of Canada, uh, Gander, Newfoundland, with a population of 9,000. So you basically doubled the town in three hours' time, and um, this community came together, got everybody off the planes, gave them food, water, shelter, clothing, ways to communicate with their loved ones, took care of them for five days, never asked for a thank you, and uh, this is the show. American Airlines had the prettiest planes. And there are 12 principals in this, in this show, so you have to play multiple characters. Uh, yeah, so we have uh, six women, six men. Uh, we play about 70 different people. Uh, we have an eight-piece onstage band, and uh, they are just as integral and amazing uh, to this story because the music is such an important part of the story. I understand you actually traveled to Gander to I did. go to the real town. I did. What I was it like? It was important to me to be able to kind of have snapshots of the places that we talk about and just the community at large. And uh, it, it was amazing. Now, I, I will say that um, I was one grain of pepper in a sea of salt <laughs> uh, in, in Gander, Newfoundland. But um, that's the beauty of it, is that they didn't treat me any different. Um, the entire community was just amazing. Farewell to all you pretty ladies waving from the dock. Evil way, me jolly's evil way. What happens to these people in the time that they're in Gander? I mean, is this a is this a comedy? Are there poignant moments? Is it a little bit of everything? For people who are thinking, what is this show about? Sure, it, it is a little bit of everything, but I think we really we really try our best to kind of stay away from negative, negative stuff for too long. Um, I think that's the beauty of the writing, is that um, we're not talking about specifically what's happening in New York. We're simply saying something happened in New York, and these are events happening in Gander, Newfoundland, right? Um, and I think that's the, that's the positive part, is that this community tried so very hard to keep these people hopeful and to try to bring some semblance of, of joy to their lives uh, amidst something that was so chaotic and, and painful going on in New York. Um, and so, yes, we, we don't shy away from the fact um, that these these traumatic, awful events happened, but we try as best as we can to give you some of the the happier, hopeful, joyful moments. And I think that that's what people take away from the show, um, because it really is a love letter to humanity. Right? It, it it just when we are seeing so so much so much ugliness, uh, this show reminds us of the goodness of humanity and the kindness of people and the kindness of strangers. Come Fly Away runs through Sunday at Overture. There are some tickets available at Overture.com and James Earl Jones II is a distant cousin. That's right. To the other James Not Earl Jones. Not his Jones. son. He's named after his dad. Right. At the, the show is getting rave reviews. It's had a standing ovation every night. It's been here uh, in Madison. All across the country. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We're seeing.